Welcome to Ask Biocon. I'm your host Bukhar Anis. This is podcast about bioinformatics, a product of Biocon. In today's episode, which is the second episode of Ask Biocon, we are going to be discussing how we can analyze gene expression data and what sort of insights can we gather from gene expression data sets. Gene expression is basically a process of analyzing genes and how they are expressed in cells, organs. Or organisms. This is a very powerful tool where we can try and compare two or more conditions together to understand how the gene expressions based on a certain condition, certain factors such as time, location, organ, space within the organism or treatment, disease, how can these factors lead to a differential expression between one or two conditions when they are compared or between two or more time points for example you are comparing uh, weekly time points early time points between two or more patients to understand how the gene expression is changing so bioinformatics tools help us to understand these resources these data sets in much more depth because what we can do is we can apply bioinformatics tools and techniques which includes RNA sequencing analysis, single cell RNA sequencing analysis or microarray gene expression analysis to understand how the gene expression is being differentially expressed based on the conditions, times or other factors that I have discussed previously. So what is RNA sequencing? RNA sequencing is a technique where we sequence the RNA from a sample, for example, you have taken a sample from a patient who has cancer and a person who does not have any cancer associated with them or they, they are not basically a patient, they are just normal individuals, normal individual. So what you are trying to do is you are comparing the normal person with the person who has cancer. So just to try and understand what sort, sort of pathways are dysregulated, what sort of genes are dysregulated, what sort of molecular functions are dysregulated due to the cancer which is a very powerful technique to understand the underlying molecular changes governed by the disease, by the time factor, by the any condition that may lead to the change in the expression. So RNA sequencing allows us to sequence RNA or mRNA or total RNA from the genome from the body basically from the sample that we collected from the patient or the individual and we sequence that using the sequencing machines also known as next generation sequencing Illumina, Oxford, Nanobore, etc. And to utilize those machines to sequence the RNA or the total RNA to be able to obtain the reads and those reads are then analyzed using bioinformatics tools that is known as RNA sequencing pipeline or RNA sequencing workflow where you take the raw reads and your goal is to align them to reference genome after quality control and then eventually you have to do differential gene expression analysis between the between the time points or between the conditions that you are studying. For example, in the wet lab you are studying one, can, one cancer cell line against the other cancer cell line. So you are basically comparing two conditions and you can uh, correlatory to differential gene expression analysis on these two conditions as well. On the other hand, we have microarray data analysis. Microarray data analysis is a traditional approach to understand and analyze the gene expression. But microarray, in microarray, we only design specific probes that, that may match to specific genes. And in that case, we lose the novelty of the data. So in RNA sequencing, we, do, we are not sure where the reads are going to align against the reference genome. So we, we, we do get fair, fair share of novel genes or novel transcripts or novel fusion genes identified through RNA sequencing but that is not possible through through microarray analysis because in microarray we only have those genes that for those probes are already designed by the companies for example Affymetrix, Illumina and Agilent. These three are comp these three are microarray chip making companies and they make the chips, they make the probes and they send them to your lab and then you utilize those chips, those probes to, uh, to figure out the gene expression. So in that case, you, you lose the novelty in your data. So on the other hand, what sort of key insights can be gained from gene expression analysis? So this, this is very crucial. So in case you want to analyze RNA sequence, you want to do 
micro data analysis you want to do single cell RNA sequence analysis the, the overall goal to obtain the key insights usually revolve around the key factors that I'm going to talk about next identifying differentially expressed genes that are associated with specific disease or conditions identifying pathways involved in specific biological processes by looking at the gene expression patterns this is also known as function arrangement analysis or downstream analysis or pathway analysis Identifying biomarkers associated with a particular disease or condition to develop new diagnostic tools and treatments. So these are some of the key insights that we gain from understanding the gene expression and by analyzing the gene expression of two or more conditions, so that we can pinpoint okay these are the changes that are that are being made by the disease and these are the changes that leading to a change in the set of genes that are now dysregulated. For example, some genes may be upregulated, some genes might, might be downregulated, and these upregulated or downregulated genes can eventually lead to a change in the in the biological processes and biological pathways. And these are the pathways that should be targeted for to cater to uh, to the disease by targeting them through drugs or other compounds. So there are there are many key insights that can be gained from um, from studying the differential expression or from studying the gene expression. Another important insight that can be gained from gene expression analysis is the ability to identify specific pathways that can be involved with respect to a certain condition, certain disease. So by looking at the patterns of the gene expression in different samples, researchers can identify groups of genes that are involved in common biological pathways, such as those that are involved in immune response, cellular metabolism, cell to cell function, or those that might be responsible for a specific response against a specific virus infection. So this is how you can understand and obtain information about key RNA RNA sequencing or microarray, microarray gene expression analysis insights, and these these are the key parameters that are implemented to understand how we can identify biomarkers, normal biomarkers or, or therapeutic biomarkers, or even diagnostic biomarkers can be identified using RNA sequencing or gene expression analysis using microarray. Because through these techniques, we basically identify the genes that are overexpressive that that have some kind of association with the disease or the condition that you are studying. So it is, it is a very powerful biomarker identification and diagnostic biomarker identification tool that, that can lead to the development of targeted and effective treatment. So that's a brief overview of how bioinformatics can be used to analyze gene expression data and some key insights that can be gained from this type of analysis. So I highly recommend you to get started with the RNA sequencing analysis because it will give you more morality in your data. All you have to do is go to Array Express or NCVIG your data sets, go there and find out, uh, look for your, for the disease that you want to be studying. If you have any questions, you can reach us and we will help you out. And that's all. And if you have any, any more questions that you want us to do the, uh, to, to do a podcast on, please leave a comment below so that we can keep that in the next future episodes of BioCode. So that's all. Thank you for thank you so much for listening to this episode of Ask BioCode. Be sure to subscribe to our podcast to stay up to date. This is all, all for free and we don't charge for anything. Thank you, thank you so much. Have a great day. All right. Good night.